All right, Year 11, this is our next adventure in working out Simpson's Diversity Index. We're going to do exactly the same thing, except this time instead of just using a calculator, we're going to use an Excel spreadsheet to do the calculations for us. The thing about an Excel spreadsheet is you need to remember it's not smart, it's just fast. So as long as you tell it, give it the correct instructions, it will do the calculations for you. It's really very useful to use an Excel spreadsheet if you want to work out Simpsons Diversity Index for a lot of different um, ecosystems and then perhaps compare them. So it is a lot of, save, can save you a lot of calculation. All right, so all I've got here is exactly the same data as I had in the previous example where I, uh, where I did it by hand. So this time, I've, again, I've got a column N minus 1 and then this column N times n minus 1. So this is the information that we're going to use to generate the numerator of this fraction. <clears throat> in order to tell Excel that we want it to do a calculation, we put in the equals sign. And what I want it to do is I want to take this number and then subtract 1. Okay, so it's taken the number in the first box and then it's subtracted 1 from it. I could do the same thing in each of these cells here. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to copy that one. So control C and then highlight, highlight the cells that I want it to go in. Oh, not letting me do that. I'll do it one at a time. So control V. Oh, go back up here. Control C and paste it. Paste, paste, paste. Okay, so there's my formula. I put it into the first cell, and then when I pasted it here, the, the Excel spreadsheet, instead of taking two subtract one, it's taken this box here, this cell here, F4 subtract one. Okay, then this next column, what I actually need is to have column F and column G multiplied together. So again, I'm going to do an equal sign. This time I'm going to say this column multiplied by, and we use an asterisk for multiply, by this column. Okay? And so, of course, 2 times 1 is 2. We've got it right. I'll copy it with Control c and then paste it down. What do you know? It's giving us all the correct answers. So this is, again, this is what we did when we were calculating it by hand. The next thing, so we've got the numerator ready to go. Not quite there yet, but we're nearly there. We now need to calculate the denominator. And so we need this cap number here, capital N. Capital N is the total number of organisms of all species. So what I'm going to do, because I'm a little bit lazy, I'll just write N here. Okay. So I'm going to tell the spreadsheet to calculate it for me. And so I'm going to say, oops, I forgot the word sum. So I'm going to say equals sum bracket that number to that number. Okay. And it tells me, isn't that awesome? It can add that up for me. So it tells me, I'll go back to that formula again. I've written equals sum bracket and then I just highlighted the cells that I wanted it to add, <coughs> close bracket, and it's given me the number 15. Okay, the next thing I need is n take 1. So again, this is pretty easy. I'm going to do an equal sign and I'm going to say this number here, subtract 1. And then the last one is going to be a multiplication. So an equal sign, then this number times this number. Okay, 210, that seems familiar. Oh, that's right, it's the number we got from the last time. Okay, so now that's our denominator taken care of. We now need to just work out the sum. Remember this sign here, sigma, is the sum. So we're going to add up all of those. So I'm just going to say equals the word sum again, bracket, then highlight 
the ones I want and close the brackets. And it's given me 64. Okay, so now I'm going to type in here Simpson Diversity Index. Oops, I moved it over. Keep doing that. So equals, I want the spreadsheet to calculate this. So I need the number which is 1, subtract, brackets, this number, divided by this number, close brackets. And it's given us 0.695238, which is what we want. If I want to, um, so I've calculated Simpson's diversity index here. If I want to just say I only want it to be two decimal places instead of bothering with all these decimal places, I can set the number of decimal places here. But I'll go to custom and I'll set it at two decimal places. And it rounds it for me to 0.70. Wasn't that easy? 